What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex and this is Ask the Cheese Gaming. I'm back with a re-uploaded review for t you today. I did not like the sound quality or gameplay that I featured in my review for the last one. So here we go. This is Clay Fighters 63 and a third for the Nintendo 64. This game was developed and published by Interplay and is the third and final installment in the Clay Fighters franchise. It was released on October 23rd of 1997 and, sadly, rather quickly went from new and promising to bargain bin dirt cheap. There's a couple reasons for this. The first was the rather mixed reception that it received after launch. Many of the people that were reviewing this game did not enjoy its sense of humor or the sense of humor that the developers at Interplay had. This game is absolutely silly. This is most noticeable in the characters and the dialogue between the characters. When you start off the game, you can choose one of nine characters. They are Bad Mr. Frosty, who's an evil snowman, The Blob, who's an anthropomorphic pile of clay, Bonkers, who's just an evil clown, Kung Pao, an oriental chef, T. Hoppy, a half-rabbit, half-cyborg, Harry Houdan, who's an evil voodoo witch doctor, Taffy, a human-shaped piece of Taffy, Ichabod Clay, a spooky ghost with a pumpkin head, and finally, Earthworm Jim. There's also three characters that you can unlock in this game either by beating the game or using cheat codes. They are Boogerman. Some of you may remember him. He had his own Super NES game. Sumo Santa, who's just a fat, evil snowman. And then the main boss and villain of the game, Dr. Kiln. Some of the taunts in this game, however, are absolutely hilarious or just downright silly, such as when Harry Houdan does a special move where he throws a chicken at you, he yells, CLUCK YOU! Or, if you're playing as Ichabod Clay and you do his teleport move, he'll say, now you see me, now you don't. On top of the total of 12 characters in this game, there's also a very wide variety of levels that you can play on. Couples of examples of the levels you can play in are the Voodoo Lounge, which is Harry Houdin's level, a graveyard, obviously Ichabod Clay's level, or a frozen castle, as well as some of the other levels that you see here in this gameplay footage. The combat for Clay Fighters is very reminiscent of Killer Instinct, with quick, medium, and strong punches and kicks. You can also perform special super long chain combos or shorter combos. On top of all of this, most characters also have a projectile move or a couple special moves. The issue with the combat in this game, however, is that anytime you do any kind of special move or try to do any kind of special combo, the game locks your character into a very long, or rather your sprite, into a very long animation. And if you miss this, your opponent can easily capitalize and combo on you. On top of all of this, it's also the jumping can feel very slow and floaty. So if you try to jump at your opponent and they sidestep you, then they can immediately combo you and deal you big damage. One of the neat features about this game that I personally like is after you went around, you have the ability to perform a special claytality, which is just pretty much a spoof off of Mortal Kombat's fatalities. I've watched a video for those, and some of them are kind of silly, and some of them are pretty funny. Overall, the Nintendo 64 struggled to really have any good fighters for the system, and Clay Fighters falls under this category as well. Well, it has an absolutely great sense of humor if you enjoy this kind of game. It doesn't take itself seriously, but it has very sloppy fighting mechanics that can hinder it severely. As always, 
If you enjoyed this video, I thank you so much for watching. Please leave this video a like, comment, and a share. If there's a game you want to see me talk about, feel free to leave me a comment down below, and I'll see what I can do. And I hope everyone is staying safe in these crazy, tumultuous times, and I'll see you in the next review, everybody. Thanks.